Okay, in this episode, let me make sure I'm recording. Uh, we're going to construct a container. As you can see in the lower right, base computer archives, construct the so storage container, access the build menu with Z, um, and pin plans with L. So if I access the with Z and then L pin details. And so you see the magnetized ferrite, sodium, and a place to construct it. But actually, before we construct the container, we need um we need a battery. Because we're gonna need to power the container. And I don't think I have access to batteries yet. So we're going to need construction. Um, we're going to need to find some more technology. All right. So where's the construction unit? Buildable technology. Battery costs three salvage data. Okay. Is there any salvage data left nearby? Yes. Buried technology module. Let's head for that. <laughs> Ship looks like it's crashed. And not enough fuel in the thruster. We could drop the uranium in there. All right. And to the technology module we go. I probably could have walked that, but uh, oops. See at the top of the screen. It's got to be somewhere over here. You think I landed where it's at? 1312. Where is, why does the thing, the indicator? I think we landed on it with the plane. Do you see the buried technology module anywhere? The bird looks stuck in there. All right, he's free. says destination reached. Let's get this tree out of here.
we can fix this with an ion battery. All right. Oh. Uh, All right, I'm going to say I give up here. We'll have to look somewhere else for buried technology. We just need three units. Oh, it's up in the air. Wild. What did, so that's three. That's just what we need, two. So we have enough for a battery. You all saw that floating up in the air, and here we're looking in the ground. Why the game's putting those up in the air, I don't know. All right, back to the base. Okay, we'll get the diagram for that. The battery. Buildable technology, battery. Oh, I have four. All right, magnetized ferrite and condensed carbon. Okay, so I'm going to put Z, then put it over battery. I'm going to click L to pin the details. Okay, so first we need magnetized ferrite. So we need 60. So therefore we need 120 ferrite. Um, W to increase it, S to decrease it. That will make pure ferrite, and then the pure ferrite will make the magnetized ferrite. We'll add more carbon. Watch, so ferrite processes one for one as pure ferrite. Then when you put pure ferrite in, it processes two for one. 120 will go down to 60 magnetized ferrite. Apparently, if we go into the catalog under raw materials, um, cooking products, do you see magnetized ferrite here? Pure ferrite. Oh, here's magnetized ferrite. A new objective. I didn't mean to make that objective. Okay. So apparently if you click... Um, uh, so let's... To get back to where we were, let's click on the battery and click L. There we go. We got the magnetized ferrite. Now condensed carbon. We have to refine 100 carbon, I believe, to get 100 condensed carbon. So 
hit S to decrease it down a hundred. Uh, no, it's two to one. Therefore, we need 200 carbon to go to 100 condensed carbon. So S to go down, 200, begin. While it's doing that, we should probably get some replacement uh, carbon. So using the mining beam. Okay. Multi-tool, click the mining beam, put carbon. See, these videos are unedited. We do everything. Each of those trees is giving about 40 carbon, it looks like. And I believe we used about 200 carbon. So we'll need at least five trees, not counting what it takes for the mining beam to replace that carbon. And if you think about it, we used uh, ferrite there as well. So um, we should grab some replacement ferrite. Okay, and that should be done cooking. I'll save the ion battery for the shield. You notice the shield is empty for when we're out somewhere more serious. Condensed carbon. Okay, so now we can build the battery. We're going to do it. Let's extend this. So let's, uh, we'll use Z to edit base parts. Z and collect C to edit. Click on the wall and uh, there. And Z to make another floor here. Now, do we have shelter? No, we're going down. So let's build a um, thin timber wall. And let's put a roof up here. Now we'll put the container over here in this corner. So I'm gonna wanna run it with solar power. So on the roof, 
Let's place a battery. Okay, the next thing we need to build in order to um, power uh, that would be <clears throat> um, solar panels. So we'll need a hundred chromatic metal. Which means we'll need to take copper and put, I believe it's, what is it, 200 copper to 100 chromatic metal? Yes, it's two to one for copper to chromatic metal. Let's hit the Z thing, go to solar panel, hit L to pin the details. Metal plating. So we're gonna want two of them. So let's craft two metal plates. We're gonna want two solar panels. Chromatic metal, we'll need 100 of that. While it's doing that, gather some resources. We'll see what the geode gives us. Click E to analyze the geode, and it gives us ferrite. Okay, we could always use more of that. Uh, it looks like he just killed that other creature, and I think these are babies walking around down here of that guy. All right, anyway, E, there's our chromatic metal. Um, gold, how much? Let's move the gold to our inventory here. And let's head up top. Whoa. All right, Z, craft one, two, and then Z, wire, one to here, one to here. Now it's time to craft the cabinet, and then we'll wire the battery down to the cabinet. So the storage container requires 35 magnetized ferrite. So I believe that will take 70 regular ferrite. Seventy regular ferrite go to 70 pure ferrite. And then 70 pure ferrite will go to 35 magnetized ferrite. See if we can grab some resources while this is going on. Some. Okay. There is our pure ferrite. Let's 
pin the details. We need to now take the pure ferrite, 70. And that will become magnetized ferrite. Okay, we have sodium, it's ready to be built. Now we're gonna build it, um, let's pick up the refiner. I'm gonna build it in the middle. I'm gonna hook up the, the wire. Uh, and then I'm gonna move it again. Okay, so now we need to stretch a wire to the back of that. So, um, Z, electrical wiring, click. Then we'll hook it right back here. And then um, Z, C for edit, click on the container, and uh, we'll put it right over here did I just destroy a wall okay we need a wall there timber wall Okay, we got our wall back. E. Okay, so now we can move some of this stuff into the container. Gold I could put in there. The second refiner for now. If I go to the ship, there's copper and chromatic metal on the ship. We can go into the storage container, put the chromatic metal in there and the copper. So our stor storage situation just improved. And in fact, let's see if I could run a wire from this up to the battery. Not a very good job wiring, but that will run also. And I won't need that other refiner. Okay. Now let's see, let's go back to Awakenings. Locate your benefactor. The monolith revealed a strange message. The boundaries fall, the walls collapse, your universe awaits. Find us, traveler. In space, use the galaxy map to search for clues. Okay. So, time to go to outer space. Let's actually use the teleporter and go to the space station. 
sell whatever we want to sell. And then we'll go into outer space from the space station. Normally it takes two solar panels, I noticed, to run uh, the basic stuff on a base. Okay. So we go to the terminal. sell. We could sell the nitrogen, salt. I should have put the magnetized ferrite away. We could sell the frost crystal, facium, mordite, Uh, can't you use dioxide to refill the life support? Yeah, let's use the dioxide. And now to the ship. Uh, we'll keep the antimatter for making uh, more fuel for the drive. All right, we have ferrite dust. I don't see dihydrogen. What happened? Did we use up? And we need launch fuel. Let me click that. All right, we could put uranium in there. Uh, we need launch fuel. Uh-oh. See, can we buy anything here? We could buy uranium. All right, when we land, we're going to need to get dihydrogen. In their way to run, then hit Q and then space to speed up. Terraforming catastrophe. All right, signal X, F to go to the signal. Incoming transmission, source unknown. You are not alone. Please identify yourself. I'm identify myself. You left me. Why did you? I say I don't understand because I don't remember leaving anybody. Of course you'd say that. Of course you'd just like the others. I ask who I'm speaking to. There is no reply. The communicator falls silent, though the channel remains open. I receive coordinates. All right. What planet is this? High energy copper uranium salt. Okay. All right, let's go to these coordinates. So don't let me forget, I need to get, well, they have uranium on this planet. So we could pick up uranium. And, um... 
dihydrogen. Because we definitely need launch fuel. See anything that can indicate a uh, uh, look at that. I bet you it's this crash ship here. I don't want to miss anything. The dihydrogen jelly will help me probably fix something on the ship. I'm going to dispose of the living slime even though I can turn it into something. Because I'm limited in inventory room. Okay. Let's see what the signal beacon says. Sodium. Five chromatic metal. I don't have five chromatic metal. Uh-oh. And I left my refiner behind, didn't I? Yeah, I got, I left all the chromatic metal behind. I'm going to need, let's step in this cave here to get out of the radiation. Oh, uh, no, this is like a pit in here. Not thrilled about this. We'll take that vortex cube. This is a relatively cleared area. Thinking I need to make a portable refiner for the launch thruster. And I'm going to need more tritium soon. Ugh. All right, let's do this. Now, what kind of building is this? All right, we'll park here and we'll figure out what we're going to do. Looks like there's a cave that's easier to get into also. Let's see, this planet, what are the sentinels like? Sentinels require obedience. Ugh. Scan and see there. You got to keep plenty of carbon for refueling. Mm 
Whoops. Let's see. I think I'm going to need to make a refiner. So. All right, we'll go back to the ship. Since we're being followed by this guy now. But we need to also investigate these things. Okay, check stock transfer. Gives us 1,216 units. If I hit Z indoors here, to make another portable refiner, I'll need a metal plate. So we can make that. So portable refiner. finished investigating this let's uh, then make launch fuel I don't need the restore shield read encyclopedia extract nanites 40 Oh, that's a, uh, one of those communication towers. I'm going to throw the facium away to save inventory. I know it does give some stuff. Did we get the location marker already? Nope. Save and chart. We'll need condensed carbon for the ship anyway. So if one of these gives extra condensed carbon, that'd be great. And, uh... Let's grab some of these rocks, giving us ferrite dust and uranium. There's more dihydrogen up there. Uranium will give us a little bit of backup launch fuel, if anything. I'll grab some carbon here. Maybe I'm a little OCD about resources, but um, better to have a little too many than too little. So I'm not going to bother going up on the hollow deck. We're going to go back to where the ship was at. I think with the refiner made and the extra materials we gathered, we will have enough. we need condensed carbon, we can use the refiner. Okay, so let's check the
the ball that gives the crash record, the signal beacon. All right, chromatic metal five. Oh yeah, I need copper for that, right? Do we have any copper on us? So we have the refiner. All right, we need copper. So to look at copper, we use the F scanner. So hit F. Um, copper at 500. Salt, uranium. Salt, uranium. All right, E to market. We'll have to fly to that. 500, I think, is a little far. Use more launch fuel. We're out. So make a metal plate. Launch fuel, put it in. See how much dihydrogen we have now, 127. Okay, so that's enough for at least one more launch fuel. And there's the copper. Yeah, it's across this big chasm here. So it's probably a good thing that we flew. Okay. And where was that copper? Right here in front of us, duh. So G to go to terrain manipulator. They will not bother you usually if you're using a terrain manipulator. Now we have plenty of copper, but if we're going to bother getting it, we might as well grab most of what's here or a good amount of it. It's pretty big copper. Um, We will certainly have enough copper for the chromatic metal. I'll tell you that. All right. Our weapon's out. I can... G to switch to mining beam. Where's he at? There. Up. Oh, you don't. You didn't see me do that. You didn't see me. I'm out of your way, buddy. You saw him jump on me when I. Uh, when I got that dihydrogen. Oh, is that copper right there? Well, that's something. All right, the next thing we need 10 chromatic metal. So we put our portable refiner down. We grab copper, which we have about 600. <laughs> we just need 20. Some carbon. Begin. 
While it's doing that, let's move the copper to the starship. And we got the chromatic metal we wanted. Go back to the signal beacon. And there. Now we can use the beacon. Zzz, gzz, gzz. There are no signs of life. There is only the static of a broken communicator. So I extract records. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extract is the pilot's name, Artemis. Whoever they were, they are long gone. The only other uncorrupted data set, it is set of plants. An upgrade for my mining beam. I discover advanced mining laser. Okay, let's go back in the plane for a minute. I'm not going to make the advanced mining laser right now. I'd need a wiring loom. But let's check out the ship. Okay, so uh, click E on the ship. It's a class B ship, does not have, let's compare. It has just two more inventory slots, but they're all taken with broken down stuff. Oh, the efficient thrusters will give us a wiring loom. Well, let's claim ship, watch this. I can make the advanced mining beam. So I go E on the ship tab. Now, if I dismantle the efficient thrusters, I will get a wiring loom. But let's wait on that. Um, first, I need to move some of this stuff to the other ship inventory so I can open up some inventory spots. It's a little inventory management. So I hit tab. Go to my exosuit, move the copper to the starship. I'll move the rusted metal to the starship. Uh, the Corvax casing, I'm not, I don't need that right now. Um, and maybe I'll move the chromatic metal over there. Now, on the multi-tool, I only have two more slots open. And it's pushing me to install the advanced mining laser. I'll need two. Actually, it looks like I'll need two wiring looms. Yeah, no, we're not, we're not doing that right now. We'll take this ship, though. All right, so the pulse engine needs a hermetic seal. And for that, I'm going to need 30 condensed carbon. So if I go out, Z, place the portable refiner, E, place... Um, I believe we'll have to do 60 carbon. W to bring it up to 60. Yep. We'll wait in the ship meanwhile. And actually, while that goes, we can do the metal plating. So we got the metal plating. Uh, 
the dihydrogen jelly on the launch thrusters, we could do that. We'll need 50 pure ferrites. So when we go out, we'll take the condensed carbon and we will add 50 ferrite. Click begin. And now we can make a hermetic seal. Put that on the pulse engine. Now, last of all, we need 50 pure ferrite for the launch thrusters. Take the ferrite. Don't forget to pick up the refiner. Go to the launch thrusters. Click launch thruster. Let's see what the log gives us as options. Let's go back to Alone in the Stars. Hit W to take off. Shift to speed up into outer space. See the space station? Click E to tag it. Space bar to warp. Um, I see the communicators going, but first we're going to get rid of this uh, ship. Where is the entrance? Come on. Do you see the entrance here? There we go. Okay, so before we sell this ship, which is worth 845,000, um, we got two open spots here. I press the middle bar to dismantle. Oh, and it didn't give me the wiring loom. Uh, no good. Let's. Options, quit to mode select, yes, go back in, load. Sorry about that, people, but uh, I thought the wiring loom would go on there as well. When you press, when you get a, a, uh, a wreckage and they, or you buy a ship, you could break down the components that have like the A, B, and C. But we would have to clear another spot here. And frankly, none of this is really worth my time to get that wiring loom right now. So let's just sell the ship. So here. Here. 
shift key to run. Uh, you know we should sell stuff. So, uh, and uh, we already got the backpack slot here. If you go in this room, there's a terminal to sell stuff. E. All right, let's see what we can sell. Okay, before we do that, let's recharge the terrain manipulator with the silicate powder. Okay, so we can sell any leftover silicate powder now. We don't need nitrogen. I'll sell that vortex cube for 5,000. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine inventory spots. I think that ought to be enough for selling the ship. You go over here, the Starship Outfitting, click E. Claim Scrap, which will be 278,500. Okay, looks like I had enough inventory. Those upgrade modules, we can go over to the technology merchant, Exosuit Research. Purchase upgrade modules, sell, and I'm gonna sell this and make 200 and 70 nanites. And also open up two inventory slots. Notice the radium pillar has appeared here for us. Let's go to this guy. The life form is open to trading and to discuss the sell of their ship. Sell items to life form. And now we got for the sale of that ship a fusion core, which will give us 47,000 for. Tank of coolant, almost 200,000. Cogs, almost 20,000. Springs for almost 8,000. Let's check our ship's inventory. I'm going to sell the rusted metal, the Corvax casing. Tempted to sell the chromatic metal. Okay, let's take off. Let me save it. And now let's take off and see what that signal is. I earned so far 670,986 units. Okay, now because there's a signal, I hit X and F. Artemis Entity, we received your signal. Is it first? Is it last? Time for truth. You have their signal, but you are not Artemis Entity, question mark. And I tell the truth. Your signal is familiar to NADA. We have been in contact before, I think. This would be a good time to come aboard, yes? A proper introduction to our home. 
and that would be the space anomaly. You hit W to approach it. Head for the purple mark in the space anomaly. Shift key will make you go a little quicker. But go to W once you're close enough. And it will open up as you you see it opens up for me. Okay, and we are in the space anomaly. Uh, we will pick up with the space anomaly in the next episode. Thank you.